What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a big new release rip. We have a 2023 Tops update blaster box. We're going to go ahead and get ripping. We have the Halloween parallels, which, sorry, this side. My conspiracy theory on this is that the jack-o'-lantern and ghosts are going to be pretty, not pretty easy to pull, but not as rare and super rare as they're saying. And I think it's going to be more of a chance to pull them in the first few runs of this in Walmart and Target, the earlier boxes, because they're going to put more in them, obviously. And they're still going to be worth a lot, just because they say that it's rare and super rare. Then the, the numbered cards are obviously going to be legit, but that's, that's what I think as far as that goes. But we're going to get ripped, and we have seven packs here. We're going to see what we can pull. Uh, I did open one of these off camera, and I did pull the rare one, the Jack-O-Lantern, which it's a pretty cool card. It was a Mason Miller, which obviously not a big name at all. So, it's not a big name, and I sold it for 10 bucks the next day. We have Riley Green, because they still, I mean, it says rare, so it's still worth a decent amount. And I do believe those are going to go down as more hit the market, but still. Vaughn Grissom Rookie. Lando Arcia, Chrome MLB of uh, Vaughn Grissom, Otani, James Altman. Then we do have a card back there, so which means it will be either the standard black and orange Halloween, or it'll be one of the special ones, which it is the standard, so nothing crazy here. And it is Michael Fulmer. The first uh, box I opened, we did get the rare one, and then we got two of the, the basic Halloween orange and black ones, so, and those aren't, they don't carry a big market, so. Mitch Garver, James McCann, hoping for an Adley rookie, that's my most wanted card out of this set, and I, I will buy the singles, but. It's cool to open a box or two of every standard product just to see what you can pull. Maybe get lucky. Like Topps Chrome hit that Josh Young auto, which if you haven't seen that, that was a pretty pretty crazy pull from a blaster. So we have another one and a numbered card. So here we go. Big pack here. Cody Bolton rookie. Geo Devin. Those guys right there. Corey Dickerson on the blue. Peyton. Battenfield Gold, numbered to 2023. We have a time spanning. So we have a gold in that pack, and then we have another one of the Halloweens. We don't know if it's rare or not, but we're getting ready to find out. Another basic one and it's one of those in-law Brandon Crawford and Garrett Colt looks like so we did get the gold rookie which I cannot complain any rookie gold will take especially with it being a rookie I haven't heard of him but still not too shabby of a card there we do have four packs to go still we'll set this guy up on the blaster there's also the new purple and blue parallels that are very high numbered, like $7.99. So I'm not sure if those are retail exclusive, but still another numbered card to pull, which is great. I think the more numbered cards they give you, the happier people will be. Personally, that's my opinion. But Mason Miller, that's the guy I pulled. And Clayton Kershaw, Corey Seager. Will the Rangers win the World Series? I think it starts on Friday and film this Wednesday, so 25 bucks for these. Not, not too bad of a deal. And these are pretty fire this year, giving you lots of value. We have another one. Hopefully, this will be a rare one. Maybe if we get super lucky, we'll get one of the bats, one of one. I don't know what the odds of that are, but one in a million probably. Oh, short print? Okay, rainbow foil rookie. There we go. Nice. Another two rookie parallels in this box. Excluding the um, the Halloween ones. And another one. Another one of those. That's great. Michael Bush. 
two rookie non-Halloween parallels, which from a blaster box in the past few years, it's been pretty tough to pull rookie standard parallels. So we did get a rainbow foil and a gold rookie. So pitchers, but still we'll take it. Especially right when it comes out, they do have a pretty good market. Any rookie, or really any gold, but mainly rookies. All right, let's get one more Halloween parallel from these last two packs. I don't believe there's one in this pack. But, or an Adley. Adley, Gunner, any of them. Here we go. Joey Ortiz, Velasquez, Julio, insert. That's pretty cool. And Dansby. Nice Julio there. Last pack, Mojo. Pull a nice Halloween parallel. Do we have one? Can't tell. Yes. I believe so. And a backwards card. I don't know what that means. Could be a black gold because I did see the edge of it, but it was backwards. Gunner. Boom. Gunner base. I'll take that all day. See a numbered black gold here. That would be pretty sweet. I do believe that is a black gold. That's what I saw. We'll save that for last. I don't know if the black golds are always turned around in retail or not. And then Alonzo Rivas. And Miguel Vargas. Let's see a numbered black gold here. Let's see if it's thicker. And we'll put Lord Ace Guriel. Does not look thicker. So... Base black gold, but still, these are hard to pull. Last card, Mojo. Where's the team on the black golds? Don't want to spoil the name. Dodgers? Not really anybody good. Freddie Freeman. All right. It is what it is. Freddie Freeman, black gold. Not the name I hoped for. Still, not too shabby of a rip. I mean... Can't complain for 25 bucks nowadays. You're not going to pull every good card in the world, obviously. But black gold, two rookie parallels, and the gunner. That's not bad. Black golds are pretty tough. Gunner, rookie two. One good rookie and a blaster. That's not bad. So, yeah, there we go. Hit recap. Five decent cards. We had gunner. We had the black gold Freddie Freeman, rainbow foil rookie of Andrew Nardi, Julio, and the gold rookie of Peyton Battenfield. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video as always, and we'll see you on the next one.